Hello there everyone! Welcome to another episode of this Isengard campaign. On our last episode we did conquer Londgalen and we saw the usage of fire launchers. Not in a very good way. But they're kind of like the ballistas but with less ammunition. And um, they're much more effective when shooting uh, someone from behind for instance or a, a huge a mass of troops. I prefer uh, to use them as I would the uh, bomb throwers. Because that's the, their main usage. Uh, these ones were a little bit nerfed, actually. I gotta, I gotta tell you that, because these used to do as much damage on each bomb with like a, a catapult, and now they're they're much much better. You know, much much. Um, you know, they don't have to be. Um, they don't have to be uh, completely overpowered to make them fun. You know, so nails of Isengard. Wow. <laughs> Sell him, right. 5% discount on construction costs. That's nice. Because they, he has uh, uh, discounts because he has nails. Interesting. Okay, so end up to turn. Uh, Gondor shall fall really, really, really easy from what I'm seeing. It seems like their biggest stack has already spawned because it it spawns when they capture Minas Tirith, I believe. And if that's the case, then um, what I'm going to do is just uh, when I uh, start attacking uh, uh, Mordor, I will start by taking their cities closer to me. Uh, and that will be it, actually. You know, I'll take the, the cities closer to, me, to my own uh, places. And then proceed on this uh, mixed Harad uh, Mordor uh, line, you know. Rioting. They're still mad at me. Wow. We train these guys. That will do nothing, I believe. That will do nothing. Okay, what's going on over here? Relations with the dwarves are good. And with the orcs in rune are good. That's nice. Mordor is at war the High Elves. That's good. That's very good in indeed. That's less more destruction for him. Construction complete in Rendul. Now they can actually build a lumber mill. Okay. Doesn't interest me as of yet. I think I'll have another lumber camp or something else. Dun lost theory. The Lamrath could build some mines. Edra is a boar breeder. Food production, no done. Hero, Erek, a village. Oh, I should build an encampment there. Mm -hmm. Ballorn. Yeah, certainly I'm building lots of lumber encampments. Longaland. Yeah, that's nice. Agent found on Dol Amroth. Very nice. I'm not going to recruit any units at all, actually, for quite a long time. Let's merge everyone, and now, surely, I'm going to need someone to leave behind. Probably that will be this uh, Snaga Skirmisher. Let me check the city. Good, it shall keep itself. Okay, you gentlemen, go over there. You're going to go here. Gondor is sending someone else. I'm not besieging. Wow, I'm not actually blockading that one. But I'm not interested in getting any units at all, actually. I wonder. Well, I could just snipe the city and it would be much better. Yeah, of course. Of course. Let's assault. Probably I'm just going to auto-resolve this one. You know, it's, it's not a good idea to auto-resolve most stuff, but... This one I shall. Just no point doing that smaller CG uh, as of yet. As of now, actually. I would lose a lot more. That's that's one of the most... Uh, uh, you know, you can use this, you know, to to get a, f uh, a, a, a little bit around these small sieges. Which I, I don't like at all, actually. Uh, let me see one thing. I actually want to destroy this and recoup some money. 
That's it. Yeah, I'm, I lost that mission. Doesn't matter. Okay, this guy's here. Let's merge. Then I have to reassess which units I need. That That's for sure. Okay, so I need this guy here. Need this guy here to check around. Or actually to here. To check that city as well. Don't, don't I? Good. His capital is over there. Let me check one thing. Is there anything around there? Any other settlements? Doesn't look like it. So that's the settlement right there. Hmm. That's a good thing to know. Where is my other spy? Well, actually, where's my diplomat? Yeah. I should get a re uh, an alliance with, uh, with a rune, actually, now that I see. Maybe they will go for it now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they'll go for it. Okay, so Isengard is done. I'm possibly going to have this selling out, or these guys selling out. I should manage them pretty easily. Yeah, and a turn. Capture one more city. That's more revenue for me. Then I'm going to take more cities out of Gondor. Gondor cities are uh, pretty much underdeveloped uh, from what I'm seeing. And that's that may be the reason why he's not uh, powerful, you know, why they have le let uh, Mordor and Harad destroy them so easily. I actually contributed a lot to it. Oh, here we go. He is selling forth. That's that Gondor cavalry can cause a lot of damage. You know, I have mostly archers and some guards of the Orthanc and such, but hopefully I can deal with this one. I wasn't expecting those other two units, you know, because uh, they were only recruited after. But, yeah, it should be easy. It should be easy. If I had a, w at least one ballista, then it would be uh, even even uh, easier. So, immediately, get these two units, actually. Group up. Position like this. Group up. Shift one. Position like this. Run in. Take away the skirmish mode. Take away the skirmish mode. Shift one. That's it. Run. Come on. How are you positioned? Good. Berserker is gonna level some. There comes the Gunder Levy. Okay, Spearman. Berserker is here. Uruk Reavers. Certainly the guards of the Orthanc will hang on the charge of the Gondor Cavalry. That's it. And my Ugluk needs to come in. Come on. Archers, move forward. A little bit. Whoa, what's happening over there? Damn you. Let's just move them back as soon as the charge begins. That's it. Come on, they will lose less men out from that. Okay, loss of knack volunteers, they need to be charged. Levy swordsman, let's attack them. Whip. Come on. Snaggers over there. You says, hit those levy swordsmen there. That's it, the berserkers are gonna die there, but at least... It'll cause a lot of casualties here. Come on, hit them over there. Okay, let's go through. If he get, went through my man, then I'm gonna go through with him. My archers are dealing a lot of damage here. And as you can see, my berserkers and even Ugluk is gonna do a lot of damage with them against them. Not that he, you actually need. No, I can just position them here. That'll be much better. Okay, Uruk Reavers are against the Gonda Cavalry. That's it. Actually, stop your fire. Shoot there. Um, shoot their cavalry. Let's get back here. Okay, shoot those guys and shoot those guys. Uh, shoot that Gondor cavalry. 
position. That's it. Come on, Reavers. Get that Condor Cavalry. That's it. In the meantime, these guys are dead. Those are getting thwarted and destroyed. And that will be it. Lossanak Volunteers. They're actually quite good. I need to pause to check the... Yeah, bonus fighting cavalry. These are like their uh, Reavers, let's say. He's losing his men. Nothing that comes out of those gates is going to do anything. So all that I need is to keep... Uh, keep that uh, Gondor cavalry in check. They're losing a few men with just my archers. Keep you moving. Come on. That's all that I need. One or two volleys. Hit the gods of the Orthanc. Come on. That's it. That lonely guy will make them uh, charge. Berserkers, hit them. Ugluk, go. Take the decreased fatigue. That's it. They're wavering. Shaken. They're gonna get some hits from these archers routing. Nice. Shoot them. Just the archer fire will now be as lo a lot of effective. You know, it will be much more effective, the archer fire. So now I can actually position these men like this. Run into position. Group up. Shift one like this. And fast forward. That'll be it. Good. Just the archers can deal with it. You know, anything that comes out of those that place. Oops! <laughs> no, now they've got it. I did lose a little bit more archers there. You know, these just these snug archers, they can do a lot of damage as you can see. Especially if positioned like this. Even though they have like a one missile attack, guys. Come on, take on that Gondor Cav. Yeah, see? It's just, that's way too much. Way too much. Come on. If they lo lose their general, then it's done, actually. Come on. I'm using time 6 because all that he's doing is going into the city and then re uh, regrouping and attacking. Group up. Group is group now. One. Come on, volley! Here we go! Oh, all of those levy swordsmen dead. Flee! Good. They're actually in the best range possible. Come on. There comes this general. That's it. His general's gonna hang on for quite a while. But not when he's routing. <laughs> Killed by Snaga archers. That's it. End up the battle. Casualties healed a lot of them. Well, that was quite nice. Snug archers killed a lot of men. Ninety. Look at that. Even in the gods of the Orthanc, as you can see, they sustained forty and inflicted twenty. That's the, the difference there, because they're really heavy, but they didn't have the effective against armor as the the the, the men of Lossernak had, you know. The volunteers, I, I believe. So that's why they, they were able to, to get a lot of kills right there. So, okay, another settlement. And Ugluk is going to spread around and, yeah, occupy. And he's going to actually spread around a lot of uh, towers so I can see over this territory. That's going to be his job. Come on. I should be gaining a lot of money, actually. Yes, yeah, 6,000. Look at that. Candidate for adoption? Certainly. Uh, send an emissary to Mordor. That's good, because I actually have something. You know, I have an emissary there. Very close to him. Let's go back to the rune. I'll recruit a new emissary, actually. Dale, amiable. Nice. Repair complete. Let me check. I think you have more stuff to repair. Yeah. Stables and such. That's it. And for end of turn, I got a lot of money. 
Finally, things are getting better. Oh, I actually got a general here. That's nice. Construction. I should have a shrine. Uh, I actually want to build something on Isengard. The mining network or the paved roads? Or the wall breeder or the wall cages or the armory. Armory gives me... I don't know what does it give me. Let me check the drill square. Oh, actually I should have the catapult maker. That's what I should have. Because I will need some catapults. Mm, but I still need some money. Well, I guess I can start building it up. You know, and then keep that for m for a little bit. Okay, so I have more money for some uh, uh, towers. Let's position one here. Come on, Ugluk. Watchtower. That's it. You, sir, you're going to go here and position another one? Yeah, I believe so. Another watchtower. Merge you units. And take away everything but this guy. Oh, normal text right there. Uh. Okay, you're going to need more than that. So maybe this guy is enough? It's not enough. Okay, you're going to need two units. Fine. Have them. Go to Unalone. Okay, I do have a watchtower there. That's good. So, where is my... Where are my armies? There we go. Faction leader. What's this? Nice. I could have some bomb throwers. Merge everyone. Let's check this uh, captain here. Yeah, I was certain this would happen. Let's move these guys here. Oh, I should actually leave someone behind. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that I'll have enough movements after I've done this. That's militia stuff. X-Men. These guys can be destroyed with almost nothing. I'm gonna not allow this army and attack it. Yeah. Should be the last engagement. And then I'll regroup the armies for Ugluk and for uh, Saruman. And that'll be it. Now that I've joined both of my armies, then it's <laughs> it's done, guys. And these are still um, still the weakest army that I can get, you know. I should start going with some other uh, generals, though, just to make them gain some more, um, you know, some more uh, stars like Ugluk and such. So, I think I'll start recruiting a new army as soon as I can for Ugluk. Okay. So, as the same, let's have this guy. That's it. You group up, shift one behind them. You Snaga Stalkers and the Urukai Raiders. Gonna be here. Actually, group. And you're gonna be behind. You're not gonna be necessary for this battle. Okay, I have my bomb throwers arriving, but maybe that won't be necessary. Faster! Yeah, they are moving in. And especially with the ballista fire, they are gonna lose a lot of men. That's it. Oh, well, they're missing a lot because of their movements. Nevertheless, okay, let's have you join up with this guy, group up, you are both bomb throwers, so just move in, come on, I'm on time 6, so they should move really fast, ballistas, where is he going actually, I believe over there, so let's keep moving you, and you're gonna keep moving here, and group 3, you're my infantry. Group 4, you're the guys that are never going to watch battle. Shift 1. That's it. Everyone runs into position. Time 6. Where is he deploying? Good. Plenty of time for my armies to appear. They should get a uh, little bit of trouble. Oh, I need one Uruk bomb thrower to arrive. Well, that won't be necessary. Is he moving again? 
Come on, stop moving, will you? My ballistas are firing, so that's good. Now they will hit them. As you can see. The heavy swordsman, that's nice. <laughs> that's what I like. Three ballistas. Look at the damage done. Very nice. X-Men are over here. Are there any archers? Doesn't seem like it. So he's actually charging here. And I already have my bomb throwers in position. Oh, this is going to be bloody. They're going to charge him on his back. Run in position, run in position. You're going to use skirmish, actually. Gondor human archers. I just want to show you some bombs. Come on. Pretty sure they're... Just my archers are going to do a lot of damage to these guys. But oh well. Skirmishers, you're going to shoot someone? I know that the bombs are going to do a lot of damage. Take the skirmish around. Take that. Take that. Oh my god! What was that? What was that? Oh! That w okay, that's so overpowered, guys. That's so overpowered. They are badly bloodied, yeah. Okay, I gotta remember, don't have anything in front of these guys. They don't need... They don't need nothing. One unit. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, they've lost everything. Oh, don't shoot that guy. Come on. Take it away. Come on. Lost a few of them. Ugh. Come on. Take that away. <laughs> My archers are crushing them. Oh my god, so these guys are like a one-time thing. No, they they just kill everything they, they find. Where's that general actually? Is this this guy the guy? Yes it is. I'm glad he survived actually. Okay. What's that? Some Yaman archers right there. Uruk bomb throwers? No. Oh, they are impetuous, I believe. Let's get you over there. They're shooting their javelins against these guys? Yes, they are. There's no more Gondor Yaman archers? Yes, they are. I know they are shooting these guys, it appears. Which is kind of bad. Archers, shoot those instead of those. I know they are on the high ground, but just stop your shots. Come on. Come on, Snuggers, Kamishers. I shouldn't have lost anything here. Come on, Ballistas, you know what to shoot. It's point blank. Come on. That's it. That's it, Ballistas. Faster, will you? That's it. Just one shot was necessary there. Oh, General dead. And that's it. Good. Let's just watch while they flee and die. <laughs> Ten men left. Seven men left. Okay, you can have those men. Clear victory. Nice. They even had a few more. Look at that. 139 and 149 with like three throws. <laughs> That's a lot of kills. So I like those bomb throwers. Oh my god. Really like them. Well... These they guarded too, while all the rest, hundreds and hundreds it seemed, went and sat in a great circle in the glade. Wargs, the Hobbit. Interesting. Okay. 
Execute them all. Now let's make a good army for Lord Lourdes. That's it. So, certainly this gentleman is going to go for Edelhorn. And that's all that I need there, it appears. Now, I have one, two, three archers, plus one, two, three archers. That's what appears. Three ballistas, two ballistas, plus some fire launchers. I guess I could give him some fire launchers. Yeah. Now, two Urukai raiders and one Snaga stalker. And on this guy, I have three, four Urukai raiders. And some two reavers. This guy seems to only need a few snagas, or actually I'm going to use the raiders as the snagas. So I'm going to transfer, transfer Urukai infantry to this guy. Certainly bomb throwers, probably the general as well. And he's going to have as well, he's going to wait for some Urukai infantry. But he's certainly going to have um, fire throwers, I believe. Yeah, fire launchers. And Vork Raiders. I need at least... Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. This guy can accompany Isengards. Come on. You get over there. There's no settlement here? It appears not. Let's check over here. Yeah, Gondor is, is losing everything, guys. Poor Gondor. Keep moving there. Yeah. So, what do I need? Isengard. I could give him the Uruk Reavers, and he would have a, a strange army. Or I can just give him one War Raider and two Fire Launchers. Or one. I think just one Fire Launcher, and I would take away one Ballista. That's the deal. Yeah, taking away one ballista. And now he's going to have an extra unit of Uruk Reavers. Yeah. And uh, Saruman is actually going to wait for a lot of reinforcements. Such as these Guards of the Wall thing. Three units, that's good. He's going to have the Uruk Bomb Throwers. These Naga Skirmishes are going to be here. I'm going to have one extra unit of Uruk High Raiders. Uh, or actually, uh, war graders. Then I need another one of war graders, and the rest of them will be two units of infantry. Urukai raiders, possibly. We'll have to wait and see. I need two units here of the uh, launchers of the fire launchers, or one, just one, and something else that will come up. Yeah, that's the deal here. Certainly no Snaga Stalkers or anything. Okay, can't build anything here. This guy is fine. Yeah, keep moving these guys. That's the deal. So on our next episode, sorry about the delay here. Our next episode, we will have two decent armies that will still wait, uh, especially the, the best units. Uh, let me have this guy. Where do I need him? The lost here? No. Probably on Guineard. That's the deal. Can you recruit anything? No mercenaries. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start recruiting finally Urukai pikemen, Urukai infantry, you know, Uruk reavers as well. So, not, not any snagas from now on. I don't need. I want uh, good Urukai armies, and that will be it. So follow us on on this Isengard campaign, guys. It's getting interesting. Now we're getting to use a lot of good and fun units. <laughs> okay. Cheers, guys. Good.